Hi, Rory Scott from Horsham Students Table Tennis Club again. This video is sponsored by STAG. So for all your table tennis needs, go to STAG. I'll put the website link in the notes. Today's lesson is going to be on the chop block. Okay, so a chop block is where you just guide the ball back, but you put a bit of spin on the ball as well. So you've got a backspin chop block when you go down, and then you can have a left to right chop block from going left to right, and a right to left chop block from going the other direction. So instead of just holding the bat there like for a regular block, you're just doing a small movement one way or the other, just to add a little bit of extra spin. So we'll have a look at those three types of shots. So the drill we're going to do is, I'm going to start with long to Daniel. He's going to do a forehand top spin to my backhand side, and then I'm going to play a chop block. Okay, so let's go. That's a, a right to left chop block, which made Daniel's shot go off to my left. Right, so that was a backspin chop block. I went down, and the result was that when Daniel hit it, it went straight down into the table. So that was the left to right chop block, where I went like that. And Daniel's shot went off to my right hand side because of the spin. So that was backhand chop block. Now we're going to do some forehand chop blocks. So I'm going to do the left to right one first. So that was the forehand left to right chop block, which made Daniel's ball go off to my right hand side because of the spin. So that was the forehand backspin chop block, which made Daniel hit the ball into the net. That was the right to left side spin chop block. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to serve it long to Daniel's forehand. He can play a top spin to either side or even to the middle. And I'm going to play different chop blocks and see if you can figure out which chop block I've done and by the direction the bat is travelling in and also from the direction the ball is travelling after it hits Daniel's bat. Okay, so that was the chop block, forehand and backhand. So remember, keep your strokes really short. Take the ball early, just after the bounce. Early timing with a slightly closed angle, because remember, you're playing against the topspin. And just vary whether you go left to right, straight down, or right to left. Because then your opponent will have more difficulty. Give that a go.